Um, paste extruders. So we made the Magic Candy Factory because I, years ago, a couple years ago, I was, maybe it's three years ago, I was fiddling around with an add-on paste extruder for the simple. I just thought I, I really wanted to extrude clay. And we started testing with wall compound, you know, like joint compound for drywall. Because you could just buy it, you didn't have to mix it. It was there in a tub, and it dried uh, solid. So I started messing around with that. And I built some really ugly, me and Mark, um, built a couple of really ugly, like plywood and uh, eight millimeter bar, and like really cheaply. And this thing ended up being like that tall. You know, it was really ugly. And you could bolt it to a simple and use it. Well, because we had been messing around with that, and we we're open sourcing the designs, um, Magic Candy Factory from Germany, they, they still are around making candy with the printers that I made them. Uh, they used that idea to make this compound of uh, gummy, it's like gummy bear stuff. But it was in a syringe, so it had to be heated. So I made this paste extruder, and also did this for print to taste, the number two, print to taste. And they actually did a Kickstarter that funded successfully because I said, sure, um, this is an open source design. I improved it from the plywood model. And they gave me feedback, and we got the firmware working. So we, little known to many, uh, this was for sale for a long time in our web store. And it was pretty expensive. Do you remember how much it was? $330. $330. That's expensive. So revisited that recently because... Um, this actually runs like a CNC, so there's no hot end. We had a heater in here, and it was a machine block of aluminum, very expensive to make. It had Delrin block pieces in here holding it all together. Um, I had these injection molded gears, the Wade's gears that I used way back. Um, so anyway, I had parts. This wasn't selling because it was too expensive. I, I uh, sent one recently to Sweden because a guy... Uh, wanted to do some confectionery uh, printing. And he saw my model, and he's like, it's just so expensive, Brooke. It's ridiculous. You need to lower the price. So I sent him one for free, and then I realized, you know what? I do need to make this cheaper. Here's how I made it cheaper. Um, I'm publishing all the files that used to be uh, CNC machined. There were a couple crazy parts on here, like this part, uh, this cool little spring-loaded, uh, it was a lock that locks this into place. Um, I was doing the bomb for this kit, so I'm going to sell a bare bones kit of the paste extruder. And that part right there is $10, believe it or not. Stupid. So instead, we're putting a quarter 20, 20 uh, bolt with a knob. <laughs> so now you'll have to close it and screw in the, the bolt to lock it in. But what I wanted to do with this is, was, you know, bring paste extrusion to 3D printing. And really, I priced it. You see the theme here, by the way? Uh, I priced it. I built a really nice unit, made it in the USA, and people weren't willing to, to pay USA prices for top dollar stuff. Really, I've got a large audience of makers um, and people with, uh, that are very budget conscious. So all the mechanics on this are really nice, um, but I just cut out the heater the Delrin parts, and these are all going to be published. That part's going to be published. There's a really nice uh, aluminum stopper in here. What you do is uh, you take, I send two of these, and I gave the link uh, to Amazon on this. This is, I got a whole bunch of s empty syringes from Amazon, different sizes, and I decided this is probably the biggest one that I'd want to design for. And so you pull out the stopper, take the rubber off the end, and you'll have a 3D printed part that goes on the end of this uh, quarter 20 Acme rod. Again, old stuff. I use this on the old simples. Um, and you'll pop that on there with a set screw. And then it, instead of that long plastic piece here, which isn't very strong, you'll have a lead screw compressing uh, based on this. I forget what the ratio, the drive ratio is, but I've got, this is the wrong motor. Um, I've got really powerful Kaisan motors that I used to use in all my old printers. I have some left. It's my most powerful um, stepper, Neem 17. So I'm going to ship it with uh, the stepper. I'll publish the files. It comes with this aluminum powder-coated stuff, the, uh, the rod. Actually, it's all here. Um, the rod, two of these, the Kaisan. I got this uh, machined insert. 
to make these gears, which was originally moving um, 5 16 18, uh, just threaded rod. Now, this with this insert, this gear works for a uh, quarter, quarter inch 20, I think that's right, Acme rod. So you get these two, this is a press on. Uh, you get two end stops. Um, you need them pretty long because they're, this firmware that we modified has uh, two end stops for, um, well, I guess you'd call it E max and E min. So the extrusion needs to have stop, you're at the bottom of the syringe, don't destroy yourself. Or at the top, stop, you're at the, you're at the top and you can open your door now. Don't destroy yourself. So you need two of those. And then there's even a, a 3D printed part that you can utilize for the actual Z because this has to move up and down. But it's kind of like CNC because you don't home or auto level when you start. You actually have to manually move. Uh, where do I want this to extrude? There's a little lure lock that goes in the bottom. So if you're using frosting or something, um, you put it like on top of the cupcake or whatever. And then uh, you can set up your slice where, like, let's say it's at the center, uh, that your slice was, you know, the center is home. So and then it'll just, you know, draw your words or put your icing on the top or whatever you're doing. If you're making cookies or confection or something. Uh, anything that doesn't require heat because this doesn't have heat. So anyway, uh, it starts there and there's no homing. You don't use the end stops. The only end stops that are being used are the E-min and E-max. So those come with it. Uh, some hardware, some of this is specialized stuff. Uh, this is Plastites. Um, so it's designed to screw into 3D printed plastic parts and it grips really good. You'll have to follow my instructions on, we want these uh, Delrin parts to be very strong and have lots of material to use these Plastites with. So you will have to uh, print it with high infill so it's very strong. And then these beautiful plates. These are powder coated. The one that's on the bottom, of the, it holds the uh, syringe at its, you know, the bottom. Um, those right now are plastides. We'll see how well that holds up on a 3D printed part, but it should be fine if you're using something that's fairly viscous. Uh, you know, I don't know that this would extrude clay unless it's really watered down. So these are, uh, these are all of the parts right here that you'll get um, to make your 3D printed bare bones paste extruder kit and all of these parts here it goes on to an existing printer uh, you need to have a printer board for the firmware that I use and we're using the print to taste um, firmware it's really designed to, to bolt onto a simple do I have one uh, well I don't want to show you that one but anyway it bolts on to where the extruder went so there's holes in the bottom of this that bolt to where the extruder goes but that could be adapted to you know a plus if you've got a Prusa or whatever, you could use this on something else. Just to understand you're going to have to figure out how to bolt it. But uh, 99 bucks if you want to check out. I have to turn off my alarms. 99 bucks if you want to uh, try out a paste extruder that is very, very, very nice, respectable, tested, works. Companies have been using this uh, design for business. 99. Is that? Or what, did I do 50? I, I kept saying 99. This is 49. $49. Only available now. <laughs> Go. It's 50 bucks. Yeah, I, I don't know why I had 99 in my head, but yeah, this right here is $49. So 49. Now you're buying it, right? 99, you were like, ooh, that's a little, little much. Uh, but think about it. This is a lot of markdown. So am I losing money on these at 50 bucks? Eh. I don't think so. Um, maybe. But uh, anyway, you'll have a good time, so check it out. So that's my three products. So uh, I'll get these out of the way. I'll show you the next thing. Base extruder. 